Welcome to BuildBox. Thank you very much for creating your BuildBox account. We're about to send over your BuildBox license key now, and you can download BuildBox by clicking the link below. But while you're here, let me show you some of the basics of using BuildBox. This is the BuildBox welcome screen, and to get started, you want to go up here to the top left corner and click Create New. This will open the creator window where you can preview a bunch of the different gameplay types that BuildBox has for you. You just drag your mouse over each of the squares and you get a small example of what the gameplay will look like. And it's as easy as just selecting the gameplay that you want and clicking create down below. This is the BuildBox scene editor where you can create and add new scenes to your game. The scenes are listed below. This one is the start scene and there's also a first scene with a couple obstacles and enemies thrown in. Let's go ahead and click the preview button in the upper right hand corner to see what this game looks like. This is the preview window so you can take a quick look at your game. I'm going to go ahead and hit the start button and we've got a little round character who's moving through the objects of scene one and the scene is repeating over and over again. So let's go ahead and exit out of the preview and create a few more scenes. And adding extra scenes is super easy. You just go down here to the bottom right hand corner and click add if you want to add in another scene. Or if you want to duplicate a scene that you've already created, you just select your scene down here in the bottom left hand corner and hit D on your keyboard to create duplicates of that scene. So I just hit D on my keyboard twice to create two new scenes that are identical to the first scene. Now that we've got a couple new scenes to play around with, let's throw in a couple new enemies and objects into this scene to make these scenes unique. I've got this cool little enemy image here on my desktop that I want to use for this scene. So it's really easy. You just select your image here on your desktop and then drag it into BuildBox and you can drop it in as an object. And to make this object an enemy, it's really simple. You just select your object here and you go up here to the right hand corner and change the preset from platform to enemy. And also it's really easy to scale down this enemy and make it a little bit smaller. And creating copies of this enemy is really simple as well. You just hit W, A, S, or D on your keyboard and those will all create duplicates of your enemy. And if you want to move the enemies around and give your scene a little bit of variety, it's very simple. And if you want to select a couple of those enemies, it's easy. You just hold down the command button and you can do multiple select and you can select the different enemies here and hit control C or command C on your keyboard and then go to your other scene and hit control V or command V to paste them in. And then it's really simple. We can go ahead and just move the enemies around again and create a little bit of variety for these scenes. So I'll go ahead and delete some of these other enemies right here and we'll keep the spikes on the edge because I think those look cool and it's nice to have a little bit of different enemies set up. So I'm gonna get rid of these as well and then I'm also gonna paste in the other enemies too. And I'll go ahead and move them around so that we get different and unique scenes as the character moves through the game. Okay, cool. So I just created a couple new scenes with a variety. And so now let's go ahead and preview this game to see what it looks like. I'll go ahead and hit the start button. And now we can see that we've got an entirely different game set up with a whole bunch of new enemies and a lot of variety. So this is really cool. But let me go ahead and show you how to also duplicate worlds and create multiple worlds. And creating multiple worlds is just as easy as creating multiple scenes. We're going to go up here to our menu editor in the top left corner, and this is going to take you to your game mind map. So this is where your game starts, the main menu, the world, and the game over. So let's go ahead and create a new world. I'm going to select the world that I have now, and I'm going to hit W, A, S, or D on my keyboard to duplicate this world. So I'll go ahead and hit W on my keyboard, and then now we've got an entirely new world. Now this is going to save you tons of development time. So let's go ahead and start the game off by skipping the main menu UI and just going straight to this new world. So let's go ahead and make this world a turbo world. So I'm going to rename name this world Turbo and then I'm going to go ahead and just change the time warp to 65 instead of 50 and so that's going to speed things up. So let's go ahead and preview this right now. Okay so now we've bypassed the main menu and we've got this very very quick world that the enemies are really flying at you fast and it's a little bit more difficult probably a level for experts. So I hope you thought this was useful and to find more explanation and learning resources for using the BuildBox software, you can go to the BuildBox website and go up to support 
and then check out tutorials and guides. You can look at the tutorials page and we have a whole bunch of videos that really break down each part of the software and we've got a great make your own game video series that you can follow along with to create your very first BuildBox game. Thank you so much for joining BuildBox and we really hope you enjoy using the software.